Assalamu alaikum. So today I'm going to start reading Surah Al-Anbiya, which is the Prophets. Um, in the previous Surah, uh, this is another, um, like the previous Surah, this is another Makan Surah that aims reassuring the Prophet wasallam by reminding him of Allah's grace and support to his Prophets, including uh, Ibrahim, Job, Jonah, Zachariah, and Jesus. Uh, peace be upon them all. The brief, uh, Prophet wasallam is said to be sent as a mercy as, uh, for the whole world. Warnings of the horrors of Judgment Day and dis, uh, are dispersed throughout the surah and are carried over to the next surah. Today I'm going to do from ayah number 1 to 25. Uh, indifference to the truth. The time of people's judgment has drawn near, yet they are heedlessly turning away. Wherever, uh, whenever new reminder comes to them from their Lord, they only listen to it jokingly. With their hearts totally distracted, the evildoers would converse secretly, saying, Is this one not human like yourselves? Would you fall for this witchcraft, even though you can clearly see? The Prophet ﷺ responded, My Lord fully knows every word spoken in the heavens and the earth, for he is all-hearing, all-knowing. Yet they say this Quran is a set of confused dreams. No, he has fabricated it. No, he must be poet. So let him bring us a tangible sign like those prophets sent before. Not a single society we destroyed before them ever believed after receiving the signs. Will these pagans then believe? Human, not angelic messengers. We did not send messengers before you, O prophet, except mere men inspired by us. If you polytheists do not know this already, then ask those who have knowledge of scripture. We did not give those messengers supernatural bodies that did not need food, nor were they immortal. They were fulfilled. They then we fulfilled our promise to them, saying, uh, saving them along with whoever uh, we willed, and destroying the transgressors or the ones who cross their limits. Reasoning with the Makkan pagans, we have surely revealed to you a book in which there is glory for you. Will you not then understand? Imagine how many societies of wrongdoers we have destroyed, raising up uh, and other people after them. When the wrongdoers sensed the arrival of our torment, they started to run away from their cities. They were told, do not run away, return to your luxuries and your homes, so you may be questioned about your fate. They cried, woe to us, we have surely been wrongdoers. They kept repeating their cry until we mowed them down, leaving them lifeless. Divine Amusement We did not create the heavens and the earth and everything between in between for sport. Had we intended to take some amusement, we could have uh, found in it, uh, it in our presence if that had been our will. In fact, we hurl the truth against falsehood, leaving it crushed, and it quickly vanishes. And woe, uh, woe be to you for what you claim. To him belong all, the, um, all those in the heavens and in the earth, and those nearest to him are not too proud to worship him, nor do they tire. They glorify him day and night, never wavering. False gods. Or have they taken gods from the earth who can raise the dead? Had there been other gods besides Allah in heavens or earth, both realms would have surely been corrupted. So glorify this Allah, Lord of the throne, far above what they claim. He cannot be questioned about what he does, but they will be questioned. They will all be questioned. Or have they taken other gods besides him? Say, O Prophet, show me your proof. Here is Quran, the reminder for those with me, along with earlier scriptures, a reminder for those before me. But most of them do not know the truth, so they turn away. We never sent a messenger before you, O Prophet, without revealing to him, there is no God worthy of worship except me, so worship me alone. Inshallah, we'll continue on Monday. Be Allah.